Keeping up with student posts is easy, quick, and you can also just grade right, right directly in this assignment. So let's scroll down to the bottom here and you can see where um, I posted a, a comment to the discussion post and then Susie Q added a comment. So you can tell that I have not yet graded this assignment because there's a blue dot here. And if I click on this little square here, it'll open up a grading window where I can put the grade in a comment here and check mark that I want to show that to the student. I can also click on the little gear here to delete um, a, a post if I feel it's inappropriate. If I set my notifications correctly, I'll get a notification each time a student posts um, to the discussion board. And personally, I like that because that means that I can quickly view um, the comments um, right directly in my email or on my phone and I can just do a quick scan to make sure everything's going well and there's not anything that needs my attention immediately. So let me show you how to set your notifications. Click on this little arrow up here by your name and then click on notifications. Right now we're concerned with course comments on updates, assignments, or discussions. I currently have my mobile off but if I was now that I'm going to be monitoring this discussion, I'm going to turn it on. Actually, I'm going to turn it to custom because then I can pick just the course that I want to monitor. And in this case, I only want to monitor the CAMS teacher course, which is right here. So I'm going to check mark that and click submit. And that way I won't get notifications of postings for all the other classes. And I've done the same thing here for email. The only one I have checked is my CAMS Teacher PD course. So you can, um, that way you'll get notifications in your email. And if you choose to, also on your phone, um, just for that course. And let me show you what that looks like. So over here, um, about three minutes after Susie Q posted, her uh, comment, this showed up in my um, in my inbox in Zimbra, and it tells me a discussion post, post has been added, and the post is actually right here in the entire content. So I can quickly scan that. If I have time and want to, I can go ahead and click on this link, and it'll take me into the um, Schoology course where I can make comments or whatever. But if I set aside a time to do grading, reading and grading of this assignment and I'm not going to do it now. I can just ignore it, but I can at least take a quick look to see if there's anything on here that's inappropriate that I might want to delete or just to make sure that especially when students first begin responding to a prompt that they're on the right track. Two other useful tools in the discussion post is the filter by user and the comment timeline. So if you click on filter by user, it'll give you a list of all the students who've posted. And if I click on the student name, it'll highlight just that student's posts. So if you have students posting um, an initial post and then responding to other students, you can see all of their posts this way, which is nice, a handy thing to do. All right, and then the comment by timeline simply gives you um, a view highlighting each comment in the order that they were added which can be useful if you have a lot of students posting um, one after the other.